Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here. We have a battle with Private that looks like it's just going to be a pretty cool battle. That we got strong teams on both sides, and looks like we're going to have a lot of fun and a lot of action in this 6v6 battle. And it's going to be single, so I mean, we might see some cool, crazy stuff. So let's see how this one ends up going. So we have the Starmie Open versus the Mind Shao. In all of my years of casting, I don't know how to come up with this one, so we're going to see the fake out go against Starmie. Starmie, ooh, tank. Leftover Starmie. All right. Is this going to be like cosmic power shenanigans? Mind Shao says no and goes and knocks off those leftovers and does a lot of damage. And there's the cosmic power. Oh, that's unfortunate because we were about to see some cool stuff, but the open from the Mind Shao. Just really stopping out on that one. And then goes into the U turn for the KO on that super effective hit. That Mind Shao just did some work. I've never seen Mind Shao do so much. Unfortunately, it's on the opponent's side. So that's kind of crazy. Mind Shao now still at full health. Still ready to go for that fake out. And then still has ultimate support from there. Goes in the Greninja, very safe option. And then the Sassino comes in. And we have another U-turn. So Greninja didn't like that option. Decides to U-turn out as well. There's a little damage to itself with the Life Orb. And it's something's going to come in and eat a Tail Slap or a Rock Blast. Or some kind of skill and shenanigans. I think that this Pokemon's really strong. Oh, Bullet Seed. So yeah, went for the Bullet Seed and then Rose Raid getting the ultimate switch in. Now, honestly, I feel like there's enough damage on like a Tail Slap to where Greninja's kind of a frail Pokemon. Don't need the Bullet Seed for it, maybe? Um, I don't know. Damage calculations might say otherwise. But you could have gone with the like full option right there. And there's the Tail Slap. So Tail Slap comes in, that's still not going to be enough to take on the Roserade. I don't even know. Kind of crazy. So, there's the 5 hit. Oh, Roserade gets that flinch though. And that's what it's all about right there. That you give this thing a King's Rock and it has a 50% chance to flinch while doing all sorts of craziness. So it's going to keep throwing out that Tail Slap. Try and do some good damage. Critical hit on the Volcarina. Not really too much, but no, there's the flame body front finally pro procking on the Assassino. That's not going to be good at all. Less damage. There's the burn, but the Pokemon's still really cool. Also, Rock Blast would have been really excellent right there. So burn comes in, and now we see the Rock Blast. Now with the burn, I think that whoa, it might not be enough to take on the Volcarona anyway. Dang, I was hoping for a little bit more damage, but it looks like it's. Barely enough. So Pokemon does get some work in. Takes on the Rose Raid. Actually goes and takes out the Volcarona as well. So did really well. And goes down to burn, however. So there's that. And now we have Florgas coming. Very just good Pokemon to bring in, knowing what your opponent has. So the Mind Shout into the Florgas. Mmm. Mind Shao doesn't really have too much. Just gonna throw out that knockoff. Going to remove didn't remove anything. Like, I didn't see anything get removed. What's going on here? There's the Wish, and that's going to be U-Turn, so not really a lot of damage, just kind of coming in for the support. But the opponent's team has a lot of options. Like, everything has a U-Turn response, or everything is, like, ready to come back, and now we have Togekiss coming in. Oh, this is going to be a war right now, and I think this might be where the opponent missteps, depending on how set up this Florgus gets. Like, if it gets that Calm Mind going, this thing becomes unstoppable to a degree. Huge special defense, great hit point tank, and is that Scarf Kiss? Ooh, so we have Scarf Kiss. Nah, Togus is like, no, I don't want to deal with this. The Calm Mind, not, not good enough. Or the Calm Mind, too strong. So, ooh, Rose Raid. Rose Raid wants to bring that super effective hit, and here comes the Misty Terrain. Wow. This is kind of crazy. So Rose Raid going to go for the rest, but it gets stopped out by the Misty Drain. I don't think that's ever happened before. And then the Moon Blast comes in, even though it's not very effective. The plus one on that call mine. What just happened? Legit. Okay. So Garchomp comes in. Garchomp's going to try to go for an Iron Head. Monstrous hit. Knocks out Florgus. Garchomp's carrying more Iron Heads nowadays because of that Fairy Typing. It's got to handle those Pokemon somehow. And it works out. And now, the Mega Lop Bunny. Oh man, that's gonna be an Ice Punch. That's that's something here. So, gonna see this beast come in, get all set up, ready to just destroy some people. Oh, Garchomp didn't know what to expect, I guess. In comes Ice Punch. 
and no focus sash. So yeah, Lopunny has a lot of coverage. You know, you can go with that fake out, you can throw down an ice punch. Maybe the opponent was just expecting a fake out instead of the straight up ice punch. Lopunny's gonna come in and throw that other ice punch as well. I guess Togekiss wanted the outspeed, but it gets frozen, so it doesn't get to outspeed. And no, oh, that's that's leftover. Oh, weakness policy. What? So not even Scarf Kiss. Weakness policy thaws out, goes for the air slash. Oh, that's gonna be a bad day for Mega Lopunny. Man, that was what? Weakness? I've never seen weakness policy Togekiss like that. That's kind of crazy. And then it just did, got frozen and thawed out in the same turn. So Raikou comes in. It wants to be like, no, you're going away, Togekiss. You've been a th problem. Togekiss throwing down the extreme speed. Looks like the opponent doesn't want to switch into anything. You know, Mind Shao is going to take a lot of damage. Greninja is going to take a lot of damage. Decides to give up the Togekiss. Gets a little damage off that extreme speed. And yeah, that Togekiss was a crazy Pokemon. So we're going to see what comes in. Mind Shao. Yeah, there's, there's really not much you can do about that fake out. So what's this Pokemon coming in? Oh, well, that's what you can do about the fake out, actually. You you can bring in a ghost type Pokemon. That'll that'll work. So, good call on that. Absorbs the fake out. Throws out the huge hit right there. Gets the crit. Mm, Mind Shao's pretty fit, frail. I don't think it mattered. So that's going to happen. And now Greninja comes in against the Chandelure. My guess, Scarf Chandelure? Yeah. Scarf Chandelure doesn't want to throw a Psychic onto a dark type Pokemon. And in comes the Raikou, and that could be it. Also, did I just pronounce it Raikou and then Raikou? Oh well. <laughs> I, I don't know. So, just went for the water type hit. Going to try to do what it can. Physical Greninja, I guess, on that waterfall. And there's that outspeed. There's the Thunderbolt. And I think that's game. So, yeah, that was a pretty cool battle. Just good back and forth. The opponent, wow, that Mind Shao led strong. So that was pretty crazy. And then the rest of the battle just went pretty standard from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good battle. I hope you all have a nice day.